Hello. The pipe I'd like to show you today is a GBD, an older one, back when they were the heyday of their uh, fame. They still make them today. They're very good from what I understand. Okay, this has a lucite stem. There's the uh, logo. You can tell it's a paneled pipe. These little oval panels. Um, you can see them if you look real closely there. There's four of them. There's one. Uh, it's a it's a good smoking pipe as far as draw. I haven't picked it up in a while. If you'd like, you can look the GBD brand up. There's a gorgeous one uh, being sold by uh, PipesAndCigars.com, I believe it. Well, I'm totally confused now because I also have a interest in a Savinelli uh, mealy, which translates into honey in Italian. One of the gorgeous uh, bowl and stem, it's a bent. So now I don't know whether to buy the new GBD or the Sabinelli. Wish I hadn't clicked on that. <laughs> totally uh, torn, as it were. I'm drawing a bowl of. Uh, McBaron's rum cake, which my wife bought me a full pound in a herme hermetically sealed bag. It's about twenty-seven fifty. A great saving over the tin. So if you're on a budget out there like I am, uh, retirement income, uh, you know, the the bag, you know, is the way to go. So she said, you better like what I got because I got you a lot of it. But it's worth it. I was doing a re... I was looking at a review, sorry, of the um, uh, plum cake and the reviewer and noticed... Uh, he didn't notice much Lat Latakia. And he's absolutely right. But nevertheless, it's a, uh, a little bit manages to sneak through, I think. But uh, overall, it's a great smoke. No bite. And uh, this blend tends to me to be a little uh, on the mellow side, which is good. It's got some burly in it. Another pipe I'd like to show you is a uh, nice old, old K Woody with a kind of a carved, half carved, um, rusticated. It's a drinkless. It's got a stem biter, rubber stem on it. And you can really clench down without uh, damaging the stem. Terrific, terrific smoke we're doing here. These loose sight stems tend to, you know, you see the, you see the uh, <clears throat> char in there. So you, kind of, you have to use Everclear to get out of there. But. 
from what I've read, uh, the quality was very similar in the heyday to uh, Dunhill's. This particular model has four oval panels. You can see one pretty distinctly right there. There's four of them. I bought it off the internet. They do a great trade in pipes on that site. Very reasonable. I think I paid somewhere around 30 bucks. What you're listening to in the background is um, the Bob Crosby band. He was the brother of Bing. He had a very nice outfit from around 35 to 45. Roughly. I'm a big band collector. Music wise. And uh, I like the swing uh, small groups of the 40s and 50s also. Uh, 30s, 40s, 50s. But I'm not, I don't care for Bob. Uh, the so called Bob of Hard Jazz. That came along progressive in the uh, 50s. So I'm enjoying a great smoke and my jazz at the same time. I'm sure you're smoking your favorite pipes out there today and your favorite tobacco. Whether at work or home. I've enjoyed some of your reviews. Very professionally done. Terrific. Very nice. So this is the pipe of the day, and uh, if uh, rummage through your collections and see if you can uh, find some old GBDs, smoke them. They're great. The quality is very good. I hear they kind of slipped in the 80s with the quality, but uh, needs further research as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, I might be buying this gorgeous one, a bent that I checked out on that site, pipesandcigars.com, something like that. So, tell me what you think. If you're any uh, McBaron's lovers, uh, get back to me what you think about the plum cake. I, I like it. It's very good. No bite. Very, very easy on the palate. And uh, so I'm going to uh, make this a short one today. And as I say at the end on most of my videos, happy smoking.